Hey guys, it's Carla from the Paper Trail. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to make this uh, vase from a tin can and paper. So I've got uh, just an empty can and I've cut paper to fit around the can. And um, it's okay if your paper is not wide enough the printed paper not wide enough to cover the other paper that that actually fits around the can because um because all of that will be covered anyway so so on on both sides of the cardstock you're going to cover them with whatever whatever paper you want it doesn't have to be the music or or words or anything just whatever you want um, flowers would be pretty but um, so then the the paper that's left that you didn't put on the cardstock you're going to go ahead and glue it to the can and then I'm taking some lace and gluing to the top and the bottom of of the um, cardstock paper and um, I don't want it that wide so I'm gonna fold it and glue it to one to the top and one to the bottom and then cut off the the excess uh, and you could you could actually use hot glue for this um, either one would work I just this is the glue I had handy so I used it but um, just whatever glue you like working with all right so I'm just trimming off the the excess lace and then um, I'm going to use some Distress Oxide. I'm using the Walnut Stain and kind of aging the edges and the corners. And that's why it didn't matter that the paper didn't completely cover the, the cardstock because we're aging it and it's, it won't even be noticeable. Um, it's hard to find paper wide enough to uh like music paper wide enough to to wrap all the way around the can so but on the front and back uh you're going to age age the edges and the corners and on the back side it's not necessary to to age the bottom just the top and the sides and then this little area right here on the can where it's actually going to show you want to age it a little bit so now I'm going to go ahead and glue this to the can and on the other side of the can here those that paper didn't meet it didn't come together but that doesn't matter because now I've covered it and this right here won't meet either but that's okay too because it will be covered. So just the very corners, the very bottom corners, um, gluing down. And now you can take a, a pencil or a, a paintbrush handle or whatever and kind of roll these edges. And because that glue has not set yet, um, it's really easy to form it but even if you used even if you used hot glue which dries immediately um, that paper will still form the way you want it to so now I'm using um, just some silk flowers that I cut from a thrifted um, arrangement and I'm gluing those to the front there where it looks like they're coming out of the um, pages of the 
the music pages. Um, and I've got out way too, too much. So, and I could have actually stopped right there and more of my inner page would have shown, but, but I put another flower in there and, and that's plenty. So that was a very simple project and I hope that you'll give it a try. And, um, Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this. God bless you guys.